I have been crippled with anxiety. I was literally upside down when I woke up. I was like, where the hell am I? I was nervous for you. I don't know why. We tried on the dress and ooh, it didn't go out today. I don't know what Georgia did. She sewed me in. Jamie was like pacing up and down at the front. It was so sweet. It was a very magical moment. We're going to do the London wedding today. Let's let's talk through the Darling. whole. You okay. talk us through your routine from starting off at Four Seasons. So I got in with Lexi. I went to get my hair done. I didn't get a spray tan. The voice is going a bit. Scoot, scoot, scoot. She off, off she goes home. Packed my bag. Honestly, oh, she went th- to the Four Seasons. Three big suitcases. Get home. Lug them into a taxi. Go to the Four Seasons. My mum's there. Go and this my- is a traditional night before the night before the wedding you spent alone. Yeah, yeah. Didn't want to spend it with Jamie. The Four Seasons very kindly gifted me a suite and my mum and my, as my sister a suite. And that must was, have been so fun. It was like, so special. That must have been a really special evening. Yeah. And it had a little cake with newlyweds on it. Oh, gorgeous. I know. And like a full, a mirror with all the lights on. You know, oh like, yeah, perfect. Oh my God, that's what, and all those lovely photographs, those yes. stunning black and white iconic photos of you and the mirror. Okay, so yeah, get to the Four Seasons, go have dinner. My dad's late. So we had dinner late. I was freaking out. I was like, it's 9pm. I need to go to bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couldn't sleep till 4am. I honestly watched Chuki or Chupa on Netflix, that new movie. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's really, really good with a little crazy animal. (laughs) I've never heard of it. So she was watching movies all like brilliant, perfect, (laughs) right before I went in. And then... Like, like at 2 30 i was like i must have a rescue remedy in my bag somewhere to oh help God. me sleep. Oh, <laughs> calm me down it reminds me of taking taking rescue remedy before my school exams to calm me down it really works that stuff it works so well couldn't find one finally slept i was literally upside down when i woke up i was like where the hell am i 7 a.m my sister and my mom come into my room they got another room i was in this big lovely bed on my own it was lovely they come in the hairstylist came we were all getting ready. Very lovely. We had a Prosecco. Gorgeous. The champagne, Bucks Fizz. Was so nervous I couldn't speak. I was shaking in my boots. And then we tried on the dress. And, um, ooh, it didn't go out Drama today. with the dress. Didn't zip up. And I'm telling you now, I've not gained weight. So that the dress. The zip was, must have been. Have you tried it on before? You have tried it yeah, on before. Yeah, very strange. I think. Well, I think it was a sample dress because there's not none left. So they gave me the sample. Uh, Paid full price for it. So that's It nice. looked 10 out of 10. I wouldn't worry about it. And no one would have known that it didn't do up because I don't know what Georgia did. She guys. sewed me in. She sewed, she sewed, sewed me in. in. And then, yeah. And then off I went. Off and I then went. She um, was obviously 10 out of 10. I mean, you guys would have seen the photographs. But it was a very magical moment. Very but when I say I was so nervous, like I've never been that nervous in my life. I was literally yeah. shaking. You I was like, get you me weren't, in. You couldn't see that you were shaking. I've been to weddings before. I can literally see the bride's legs. When I was in, I was fine. Down. Yeah. It was the waiting behind the door when I came. Oh, clear. that was a big... I was nervous. I think everyone was a bit nervous for, for you. I don't know why. And then you could see that Jamie was like pacing up and down at the front. And it was so sweet. <laughs> but then you came out and it was very special, very funny. It was a really special, lovely half an hour. It was quite quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I really could not bear a long one. That was awful. And then the rain stopped, guys. The, the rain stopped, but we were For when Sophie came out. freezing. We went for lunch. Yeah. Went for lunch. Very drunk. Very lovely. Oh, it's like, you know, you take a sip from your glass and it's just filled straight back up. <laughs> like there wasn't a moment that my glass wasn't full to the very brim. <laughs> it, it was, was wonderful. Just, it was honestly just the best day. It was and so fun. In case you haven't listened to Nelly Res, and if you don't, you need to. I have been crippled with anxiety. And the minute I got married, everything just went. It was all gone. It's all gone. I think Jamie's now more anxious. He's like, what the fuck have I done? <laughs> Stop this. But you know what? I guess from an organisation point of view, now maybe he's stressed because he's like, oh, the wedding, it's hosting a big party. You want it all to go right? It's a different yeah. kind of maybe like stress and anticipation. That's what he's feeling for as you would like. I'm just so stressed about getting married. And you're like, oh, it's not no, a big deal now. not stressed about getting married, just stressed about the whole thing. Whereas now I'm like, it, yeah, the whole thing was just overwhelming. Yeah. I don't know. Some brides don't and get And now it's just some- done. Now it's just done. And it's but so you safe. do then have the big organisation. It's not the big party now, which is you're looking forward to it because you're like, I'm just going to let loose and have fun. Yeah, and that's more private. Whereas this, bloody hell, we walked out of the church. It was honestly yeah, like it was a parade of people. a lot. Yeah, I felt honestly, I was like, But the wow, moment, it was just that I little famous? walk. It was just that little walk from the thing 
into where we had lunch and then it stopped and then it was lovely and then there was Sophie did some magical little poem speech <gasps> I did a poem everyone which cried. I will probably read everyone cried point. everyone shed a tear with that for sure did you yes not Emily she we both we were sat no. next to each other we both cried oh you yeah I thought you were I cried everything I also like honestly was quivering my boots I was like please can we just sit down so I can read this bloody poem oh god and then she started bless her and then we had to stop her and she had to go I again cried. and we were like for fuck's sake I cried so much I cried in the ceremony and oh I, my god you, and you I did was... cry towards the end of the poem that really got me when, you, when your voice went and I was like oh yeah it was it was a really lovely lovely day it was just gorgeous the whole and, thing yeah and there we were and then I couldn't get my dress off because it was so dense so I slept in it bearing in mind it was a corset so when I say it was I honestly think I've got two broken ribs <laughs> cutting into me I can't <laughs> and then we had to cut it with scissors the next morning that is just so upsetting so upsetting but I mean when was I ever gonna what wear can it you do you what? can get it repaired I mean it's not like you're gonna be wearing the same dress anytime soon are you could dye another color and wear it again you could just wear that as a summary like very formal dress I don't know how maybe take get the bottom bit taken off yeah and also Jamie was really kind of shook he thought I was like a hoe bride he was like why are you wearing a short what dress Jamie I was like it's a registry office to guys to wear like a full ball gown yeah he was like, I wanted, I thought you'd be wearing like a meringue dress. That's so Fancy, funny. He also has taught me a hundred times, please don't wear a meringue dress. Is a meringue dress like the enormous like poof princess pr- yeah. vibe? Traditional. I did think when I walked in, why are there no tears? Because he was probably thinking, oh my God, my parents are thinking she's an absolute slut wearing. Stop. <laughs> really? But people go to the register office and they just wear like a little reformation number. I know he needs to just understand Yeah, he does. I've never really seen anyone. He was wearing Cuban thing. heels. So like, seriously. Bless his little soul, guys. I always got the best pictures because we obviously sat behind them and they were sat facing away from us. Quite a lot of like the ceremony and like the formal signing of the papers and all this stuff. And you could just see Sophie's wearing these sick, Jimmy Choo shoes with like these like diamantes like all down the back and they're like flickering in the light and then Jamie's just sat next to her in these like like little high heel boots and I was like oh, this is such with a also suit. a little slip inside them he still had was to he, sta- really he, he still had to stand on a step higher than me outside so. that was fluke but then in the video that we've all got privately he then stands we next to kind you of and it looks high. like he's still a little bit taller yeah, we were the same height and I was totally heels. Fine, so those actually. Cuban heels were bra fucking They did, low. they did a good job. Why us out, hello. They looked excellent. They actually really went with the whole vibe. Also, Jamie honestly, also was I marrying Carl? What's his name? Carl Lagerfeld. Because <laughs> honestly, <laughs> Oh yeah, but also we have to comment, I'm guessing you've already spoken about the fact that you're like, mum, give me your glasses before you went out and it was just the best thing. Perfect finishing touch, the whole outfit, the whole thing. It was iconic, guys. Obviously, you've all seen it. <laughs> the whole world's seen the wedding. <laughs> Everyone's like, for fuck's sake, can it be done now? Everyone's like, please get 20th of May needs to be over. So we can't. It's going to be like, what the fuck am I going to talk about for the rest of my life when this wedding's over? Like, all I feel like. Your wedding next. (laughs) All I talk about is like the next event. I'm like, I'm so excited for this next event. And then I really just want this this big wedding just to carry on forever. I know, we've got three weeks, we've got a month, a month to go. Yeah, we've got a lot of build up. We've got a build up, yeah. Lovely. Maybe we do a second hen after the wedding. (laughs) 